I'm a person who really wants to get to the bottom of why things happen the way that they do. And also during the entire process to actually help people who are affected by certain diseases um, or certain genetic disorders uh, which are in the general population. I do must admit that the Medical University of Gdańsk is an excellent facility. It did allow me to develop in a way that I wanted to develop myself, to develop my scientific passions, to conduct research in a way that I would like to do it. I believe the prettiest part of Gdańsk is the seaside. I think it's great to have the seaside so close by and usually the place where I'm going is the pier in Brzezna. This is the place where I've been going whenever I was feeling stressed, whenever I felt like I want to take a stroll. My PhD is about dermatological assessment of patients with tuberous sclerosis complex. And during my PhD, I am analyzing on a group of patients affected with tuberous sclerosis complex. This is a complex arising, this is a disease arising from a mutation in TSC1 or TSC2, coding for tuberin or Hamartin. And uh, there's, of course, like in every single disease, there are bigger, so major or minor criteria when it comes to the diagnosis. I focus in my current research only on the dermatological criteria, so on four major and one minor criterion. Tuberous sclerosis is a rare genetic multi-organ disease. We now currently have about 84 patients under our supervision of the nephrology ward. So this is quite a significant group. We're trying to treat the patients very holistically. On one hand, I'm looking on the patient nephrologically. So I'm looking why they are having this disease. And I'm looking at something which is causing the biggest difficulty in their everyday life because they can have chronic kidney disease, they can have different manifestations in the kidney, and this is something which is the most life-threatening in the adult tuberous sclerosis patients. But on the other hand, I'm also looking at them dermatologically. I'm looking how their skin changes are affecting their life, and they're having a lot of various skin changes. So theoretically, a definite diagnosis of tuberous sclerosis can be made based solely on their dermatological criteria. And when we did our first research, we could say that in 89% of patients, 89%, um, this definite diagnosis of tuberous sclerosis could have been made. It's a large, large group. I truly believe that this is going to be a big change for these patients because earlier recognition of tuberous sclerosis is going to also allow earlier recognition uh, and investigation for other very, very difficult diseases which they have. My mentors, on one hand, I'm having uh, Professor Alicia Maria demska Ślizien, who is the head of the nephrology here and has been an absolute greatest help which I ever received at the university. She started her scientific career very early. She may achieve uh, a lot in this field uh, because uh, she is prepared to working with us. She knows how to collect the data, how to analyze them, and how to write abstracts. She uh, gained a lot, much more than is expected from the, the course of study. And this is thanks to her um, attitudes, because she wants to be a scientist. And on one hand, uh, we're having Professor Violeta Barańska-Rybak. Her complex understanding of the skin and how the skin is affecting the other organs and what to look at, what to investigate, how to investigate. The research could have not happened without her. She's the driving force which is telling me, go, do it, try it. You know, worst case uh, that's going to happen, they're going to tell you no. Eva Sokolewicz is absolutely multitasking person and uh, she is very determined. She also works at genetics department, at nephrology department and uh, she cooperates with me in context of the dermatological uh, side of, of the disease. Uh, I don't know if she's sleeping. I have uh, impression that she's working continuously because she is very productive also in writing papers, doing presentations phone conferences. I think that she will achieve uh, everything she planned.